if you look into the numbers, um, China is now like, uh, number one together with US. I think it's a question of time when China is a real number one, America number two in terms of you know, GDP and, and output and so on. Um, already now, um, China is taking a more uh, assertive role in the world. There are a lot of um, Chinese officials at the World Bank, at the IMF, um, in all uh, multinational or multilateral institutions. China is also creating its own institutions like the uh, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, um, you know, the, the One Belt, One Road initiative. So China is more assertive. China is taking um, a leadership role. Uh, but China is not imposing itself. That's important. It's not imposing itself saying we are the leader. It's more like a, a soft power approach. I think we see also that um, Chinese culture is spreading, you know, Chinese movies. In the past, we only watched like um, Hollywood movies. Now we have um, Chinese productions, maybe mixing Hollywood and China. You have uh, Chinese fashion. Uh, you know, uh, China is, is, is getting more known in the world. I think many countries uh, look up to the Chinese model. Uh, we are celebrating this year uh, 40 years of reforms. You know, when Deng Xiaoping started a reform process, now we can look back and say reform process was successful. Especially when Deng Xiaoping started with the special development zones in Shenzhen and other places. Now a lot of countries want to use the same model. Um, I've been to um, uh, a place in Africa recently, Rwanda. Rwanda um, has a very kind of um, you know difficult history. Twenty years ago, there was a so-called genocide. Uh, now Rwanda is like the shining star of Africa, and uh, I think the reason is that Rwanda is using the Chinese model, you know, of being um, have very uh, long-term planning, maybe like a 10, 20 years long long-term planning, to have the rule of law for investors, to attract um, foreign direct investment and uh, to fight corruption. So Rwanda is really standing out and using um, the Chinese model. Talking about models, you know, there's the, the Anglo-Saxon model, there's a Chinese model, maybe the continental European model. And I think there's no one-fits-all model, right? You can't say that the American Anglo-Saxon model could work anywhere in the world. Likewise, the Chinese model can't work anywhere in the world. But more and more countries uh, look up to China. So talking about your question where China stands. So China is more like a, a natural leader, not um, you know, pushing itself forward, but um, uh, leading by example, by the reform process. And a lot of African countries, even Latin American countries, try to um, use the Chinese experience.